Hi everyone, it is Marketing Monday. I am Lynn Weinman, founder of Kid Glove, and today I am sharing seven best practices to leverage your event sponsorship. And this is intended for purpose-driven leaders and marketers. However, if you are a nonprofit, you might find some good insights that will help you increase your event sponsorships. So a marketing sponsorship is really a unique way to help drive brand awareness and leads for just about any size or any type of business. And it usually involves financially supporting trade shows, charity causes, supporting sporting events or conferences to increase your competitive advantage and reach certain business goals. And you may have noticed I am not in my normal setting. I am on a beautiful golf course today because Kid Glove is actively sponsoring a fundraising golf event for a great local organization and I am on the front lines of our brand activation efforts. So here we go. As a purpose-driven leader, I am sure that you get asked to sponsor many events. And as with any marketing strategy, you have to decide where to invest your time and resources for the best return. So here are the seven ideas to help you make the most of that investment. And to help you remember, I'm using the letters in the word sponsor to help us remember. So S-P-O-N-S-O-R. So S, select events and organizations that align with your goals. P, plan ahead uh, for the outcomes that you want to achieve and how you will measure. Uh, O, optimize for your brand. N, navigate an experience. S, share your story. O, outreach to your new contacts after the event are refine and repeat. So let's break those down. Uh, S, select events and organizations that align with your goals. Everything you do as a marketer either adds to or depletes your brand. You want to associate with events that either boost your brand or support your purpose. Um, to attract your target audience. So today we're supporting the second annual Omaha golf outing for Lutheran Family Services. And this is a good match for us because it's an organization known for changing the world by providing behavioral health and refugee services. And at Kid Glove, our purpose is to be the people who are helping the people who change the world. And actually you may have just seen golf carts drive right behind me. Uh, P, plan ahead for the outcomes you want to achieve and how you will measure them. So the outcome of a sponsorship event can be really hard to assess. And to make it work, you need to clearly define your objectives and determine how they will be measured well before the event starts. If you wait until after, it's not going to go very well for you. So our goals today are to increase our name awareness within the Omaha market and to foster relationships that will help us garner support for a major project that we have in the works. We'll measure our success by the quality and quantity of people we meet at the event. Oh, optimize your brand throughout the event. Generally, the event organizers will ask you for their look for your logo and start incorporating it into their promotions. Make sure you are providing the best art files, perhaps multiple versions to optimize for the type of promotion they're doing. If you have an abstract name like Kid Glove, you may want a version of your logo that describes what you're what you do. And then beyond the expected, think about what you might do to create brand exposure. That might mean branded clothing, giveaway items, handouts, event signage. We have these cute little name tags. We have large flutter banners, and we're giving away some awesome Kid Glove branded Yeti mugs. And here's a secret, one has a hundred dollar bill inside. So lucky winner will get that. N is for navigate an experience that will engage your audiences. In most cases, event attendees are coming to do something other than network with you as a sponsor. So you need to do something fun that makes them want to engage. We are doing a branding quiz because we are branders. We love branding. S for share your story. This second S, um, uh, goes with another S, which is social media uh, that makes this easy. So make sure you're letting people know you're going to be at the event. Tell them what you're doing at the event. Follow up after. Use your social media. Use blog posts, maybe emails even to let people know what you're doing. 
uh, my coworker Brooke and I, Brooke's right here with me on the other side of the video camera. Uh, we are going to be posting some selfies right after this. O is for outreach to your new contacts. So the, when the event is over, make sure you're reminding people that you met with them. Follow up with an email or a handwritten note, even better, or sometimes even a phone call. But when you follow up, make sure you're nurturing that relationship and not whacking them over the head with your sales pitch, right? So all of the new friends we meet today will be receiving some outreach. And then finally, that last R is for review, and I'm adding some more R's, refine and repeat. It's best to assess the success of your event right after the event, decide what you're gonna change and determine if you're gonna repeat that sponsorship in future years because you know the event sponsored or the event organizers will be asking you right away. So there you have it, seven best practices to leverage your event sponsorship. Um, S is for select events and organizations that align with your goals. P is for plan ahead for the outcomes and measurements. O is for optimizing your brand. N, navigate an experience and make it fun. Share your story is the second S. Outreach is the second O. Refine and repeat is that R. And then I'll give you a bonus tip related to your budget. Whatever you event, invest in the sponsorship, so if you are spending $1,000 to be a whole sponsor at a golf tournament, you should expect to spend at least that much at least another thousand dollars on the activation and promotion of your sponsorship. Just the sponsorship and logo placement enough is probably not going to get you the best return on investment. So thank you for joining me today on this beautiful golf course. Check back in a little bit. We'll see if I've gotten a sunburn today. Um, if you find this information useful, it will be posted on our blog at kidglove.com. And if you go there, uh, go to the expertise tab and you can navigate to a whole page for purpose-driven business marketers that has case studies, blog posts, and all kinds of other things that you might find useful. Also check out our Agency for Change podcast where we have several purpose-driven leaders and marketers sharing their stories. Thanks everyone. I appreciate you for joining me today. Good luck with your event sponsorships and uh, give me a holler if I can be of service. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.